Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So we have this sequence and we have to prove that it is convergent in R2 with Euclidean matrix. So we are familiar with Euclidean matrix and we have to prove this sequence is convergent. So when we want to prove it is convergent, obviously we have to prove it converges to some point. So let us decide at uh, for to which point this sequence is convergent. Let us see. So let me mention we will prove that we will prove that that sequence xn converges to you can easily see there are two components this is first component this is second component so 1 by n square is a first component what will i do i will apply the limit if i apply the limit n tends to infinity 1 upon infinity is 0 that means the first component converges to 0 Similarly, by applying limit to the second component, we can easily find the second also converges to zero. Okay, you can solve it in details and you will get it converges to zero. So that's why the second component also converges to zero. So therefore, we will prove the sequence xn converges to zero zero in R2D. So where d is a Euclidean distance, they have already mentioned there. Uh, so now our target is to prove this sequence xn converges to 0 0 in R2D. Okay, so we are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence. What is it? So the definition is for given epsilon greater than 0 there exist n belongs to set of natural number such that d of xn x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. So this is definition of convergence sequence in the matrix space xd. So here the epsilon is required. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. It is any positive real number and for this epsilon our target is to find this natural number capital N and for which this definition will be satisfied. So here distance between xn and x must be less than epsilon. So that means we need to work on this distance first. So let us find this distance and then we will decide what should be our capital N. Consider d of xn x means here 0 0. Okay. So as we as I told you earlier, this distance is a Euclidean distance. Okay, so that means it is defined in this way norm xn minus 0, 0. So let us put the value of xn. This is our xn, right? So let us put it here 1 by n square, n square minus 1 upon n cube plus 1 minus 0, 0. So we can easily do this subtraction first component minus first component, second component minus second component. So tell me what will I get? 1 by n square minus 0, 1 by n square. And this n square minus 1 upon n cube plus 1. If you subtract 0, you will get same. So now norm of this bracket. So we are familiar with the definition of norm. Let us recall first. So norm xy is equal to root x square plus y square. So this is the definition of norm. I'm going to use this definition here. This is my x. This is my y. Let me remove this part. So we will have some more space to write. In just a minute. Okay. Let me write here. Okay. So this is equal to root square of this part 1 by n square square plus square of this part n square minus 1 upon n cube plus 1 whole square. So this is equal to root. So numerator we can take separate separate square square of numerator square of 1 is 1 square of denominator n square square means n raised to 4 plus I will keep as it is n square minus 1 here. I will take separate separate square square. Okay. So this is less than or equal to uh, sorry strictly less than root 1 by n raised to 4. 
see what I'm going to do. I'm going to add one in numerator. So you know that if you add something, some positive real number in numerator, value will get increase. So if you add one here, minus one is already there. So minus one plus one will get cancel and you will simply have n square. So we have added one in numerator. So that's why values increase. So that's why I wrote that inequality less than or equal to. In same thing I will do in denominator. So plus one is there. I'm subtracting one. I'm reducing denominator by one. If you reduce denominator value will again get increased getting. So that's why if you remove this, if you minus one, right? Minus one, minus one plus one cancel and you will have n cube here. Bracket squares are already there, getting bracket squares are already there. So what we have done here, we have added one in numerator and we have subtracted one in denominator. So obviously value will get increased and we will get this type of inequality. Let us simplify it further. So this is equal to root one by n raised to four n square square. That means n raised to four n cube square. That means n raised to six n raised to four n raised to four will get cancelled. First one by n raised to 4 will be as it is. So here n raised to 4 will get cancelled and we will have 1 by n square, right? But see, you can easily tell me that n square is less than or equal to n raised to 4. Agree? If you take n is a natural number, if you take higher power, you will get more values. If you take reciprocal 1 by n square, inequality will get changed and you will have this type of inequality. That means 1 by n square is greater than or equal to 1 by n raised to 4. So that's why this is less than or equal to root. 1 by n raised to 4 is less than or equal to 1 by n square. So if you replace, you will have this type of inequality, 1 by n square. So now both of them have the same denominator. You can add numerators. 1 plus 1, 2 by n square. I will take separate, separate root. So root 2 and root of n square is n. So let me call it as one. Okay, so please keep in mind this thing that distance between xn and 0, 0 is less than, strictly less than we have got root two by n, this value we have got, right? So I'm calling it as one, uh, just make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So I have written that one again, so we can use it further, okay? And yes, so I have written this, inequality number one here again. So uh, let us recall the definition. What we have to prove? We have to prove that sequence is convergent. This is definition of convergent sequence less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. So actually we are in a search of that capital N. Okay. And in this case, Archimedean property help us to find the value of N. Okay. So let me write by Archimedean property by Archimedean property. So let me tell you what is Archimedean property. See this property says if you have any real number, definitely you can find a natural number greater than that. That means if you have any real number A, so definitely we, we will have some natural number which is greater than the given real number. So now it's our task is to choose that proper real number. So we'll get a natural number greater than that. See, let me work on this. See, this thing we have to prove. We have to prove this thing less than epsilon. So let me do some rough work here. Root 2 by n should be less than epsilon. Get it? If this is less than epsilon, obviously this is also less than epsilon. So what will I do? I will shift epsilon here n there. So root 2 by epsilon is less than n. So this type of inequality I should have. So we can easily prove this given sequence is convergent. So by keeping this thing in my mind, I'm choosing N, capital N belongs to set of natural number such that I'm choosing N such that root two by epsilon less than capital N. Okay, so yeah, by keeping this thing in my mind, I'm choosing this N, okay, which is greater than this real number root two by epsilon. Here we had taken A, a is any real number. So this is my A. Let us interchange them. So root, 2 by n less than epsilon. So I'm calling it as inequality number 2. Second important thing we have got. So we should think of this inequality also n greater than or equal to capital N. Let us work on it. Let me remove this part. Okay. So consider, let me write here. 
कंसिडर कंसिडर एन ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू कैपिटल एन दिस इन इक्वेलिटी आई कंसिडर लेट एस टेक रेसी प्रोकोल ऑफ बोथ साइड इन इक्वेलिटी विल गेट चेंज ओके बट दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग वी नीड टू हैव सो लेट एस मल्टीप्लाई बोथ साइड बाय रूट टू सो सेम टर्म विल बी एडजस्टेड देयर रूट टू बाय एन लेस देन और इक्वल टू रूट टू बाय कैपिटल एन ओके सो लेट मी कॉल इट एज थ्री सो विल यू टेल मी वॉट विल आई गेट इफ आई कंबाइन वन टू एंड थ्री फ्रॉम वन टू एंड थ्री इफ आई कंबाइन वन टू एंड थ्री सो वन गिवज डी ऑफ एक्स एन जीरो जीरो इज लेस देन रूट टू बाय एन सेकंड गिवज रूट टू बाय एन लेस देन और इक्वल टू रूट टू बाय कैपिटल एन एंड द थर्ड गिवज रूट टू बाय कैपिटल एन इज लेस देन एप्सुलॉन विथ दिस कंडीशन ओके सो दैट मीन्स ए लेस देन बी बी लेस देन सी सी लेस देन डी दैट मीन्स ए लेस देन डी सो दे आर फोर डी ऑफ एक्स एन जीरो जीरो इज लेस देन एप्सुलॉन एन ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू कैपिटल एन दिस इज नथिंग बट डेफिनेशन ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेंट सिक्वेंस वी गॉट इट सो दे आर फोर दैट सिक्वेंस एक्स एन कॉन्वर्जेस टू जीरो जीरो इन आर टू डी सो इन दिस वे वी सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट देन वी विल स्टॉप थैंक यू सी यू